how to stream on Twitch if you are a musician on a budget. Hello everybody, my name is Leonardo Barilaro and I am a pianist, composer and aerospace engineer. Today, in this episode of Nullo di Essene Nota at Home, not a day without a note, I will share with you my experience about streaming on Twitch on a budget, because I'm a musician and also for uh, now I didn't do a lot of investment to stream on this platform. Twitch is a platform born for gamers and uh, um, allows uh, performances much higher of what is offered, for example, by Facebook or Instagram. Also, YouTube, uh, of course, uh, is a very good uh, platform, but um, I like Twitch because uh, it's uh, stronger, the concept of uh, community, and uh, it has uh, many tools that uh, uh, helps to make uh, very interactive uh, the streaming, and also, after a first impact where you are a little bit uh, puzzled by this uh, platform, there are many, many features that simplify your life and make uh, things uh, much easier. So, if you are a musician and you are thinking uh, to stream, maybe you can uh, evaluate Twitch, you can also follow me, I will put uh, the link uh, down here in the description. And uh, now I will do a breakdown, uh, starting from uh, the hardware part and later going to the software part. So, regarding uh, the hardware part, of course you need uh, your instrument, I use uh, my piano and uh, my music workstation, the called Kronos. Both of them are channeled inside my audio recorder, which is my digital audio workstation, the Zoom H6, which is a pretty good tool for this type of activity. And as a musician, for me, and should be for everyone, the audio has the highest importance. I can be more patient about the video quality, but I want audio to be at the best that I can. So, um, two stereo microphones get the sound of a piano, and I have the input coming from the Korg Kronos. The Zoom is used as an um, audio device to go inside the laptop and uh, this is the hardware part regarding the um, audio. I also use two cheap um, softbox for the lighting so I, I am able to have a decent lighting also when outside there is sunlight, today there isn't too much sunlight, but in any case the daylight is stronger and usually I prefer to stream not at night, both to not disturb the neighbors, but also because it's really a beautiful view that I want to share with who is watching me when I play. Besides the soft lights, for the voice, I forgot uh, to tell, sorry if I'm going a little bit random, I'm using a Shure microphone, which is uh, placed uh, nearly in uh, front of me, in front um, of a camera, that takes my voice uh, and uh, this microphone is used in the moments when uh, I, I'm reading the messages uh, in the chat and uh, I want to interact live with uh, the people uh, following. Another important point is, of course, uh, the camera. As camera, in my case, I am using a Canon 1100D. It is uh, a, now a 7-8 years old DSLR by Canon, so it's uh, not a new camera, but it is uh, doing its job uh, properly and it works uh, very good for how I want to use it because 
I don't have for now a capture card that will help a lot and usually gamers use capture cards to connect the camera in order to not overload their computer. And capture card has also other benefits, also regarding the, the quality with which uh, you can stream. But I'm not using the capture card and uh, I will explain in, uh, in the software part how I am doing the connection. So basically with uh, these elements that I described as hardware, I'm able to have a pretty decent setup. I also use uh, as a second camera the webcam of my laptop that uh, uh, gives uh, a pretty decent quality but I keep uh, only in a corner of my main uh, window when I am streaming and it gives a second angle and also it allows uh, to look uh, at, the, um, at the keyboard. So this is uh, the main part regarding the tools I'm using uh, as hardware. As software, differently from what happens on Facebook or Instagram, I use an intermediate program, I use an interface. I use OBS Studio. It's a software with um, a lot of features where I can channel inside the audio that I get from the Zoom. I can have different scenes, different layers to overlay in the same window. For example, I have the main camera, I have the webcam, as already mentioned. I can put my logo, I can put the visualization of a chat live when it's happening. I put when someone subscribe. So I put different things and this Features which are pretty nice if you are a musician come from the world of gaming where there is a lot of interaction. On OBS another interesting thing is that you can set the delay between cameras, between the audio, so you can get a pretty homogeneous quality because there is a lag. Now in OBS I don't take the camera signal from an HDMI cable through a capture card, but with a USB cable I go inside the laptop, I use a Canon EOS utility program, a software that you can find on the official Canon website which is free, and through this I do a window capture so I can uh, um, directly stream what this uh, utility program sees from the live view of uh, my Canon 1100D and uh, I can uh, show it on OBS. I found this as the simplest and quickest way and also more stable to be able to go online and stay online uh, one hour and a half, two hours. So. Um, pretty a lot of time for me at least. I know there are streamers that uh, streams much longer but uh, it requires uh, experience and also a lot of energy of course. So in OBS um, I have this package that I built. I also put a let's say an image where uh, I am giving the notice that the streaming is starting a be right back message so you can uh, uh, customize personalize uh, as much uh, as you like uh, your uh, uh, streaming channel after this of course you need to create uh, an account on twitch which is pretty easy you connect uh, twitch with obs there is just one code to insert is uh, pretty straightforward if you want more details uh, uh, there are uh, tutorials uh, explaining this um, in a very good way. And uh, once uh, you connect Twitch with OBS, uh, you can start streaming. And uh, this is uh, the overall result. This is what comes out when I am uh, streaming on Twitch. There are some uh, previews uh, 
broadcasts that are available on my profile, you can have a look at it. And here you can see the main camera, the webcam, and the camera with which I am recording this episode of my music vlog. And just an example. This is uh, what uh, you can see when you stream. Also, I forgot to add that uh, I am streaming in uh, more or less in HD, not full HD, because uh, of the limits uh, of my connection, but also for um, the average connection of other people is pretty good because there isn't too much lag. Uh, the flow is uh, pretty consistent, so it's uh, a good uh, a good point. Now, this was just an example. Of course, you can experiment uh, much more. And magically, I go back to the other camera. So, the very first times um, can look uh, a little bit uh, strange because uh, you are just in front of a camera but you know you are uh, playing live from for people that are on the other side of uh, of a screen of a laptop of a smartphone so it's a, a strange feeling and also in the chat you receive messages you can feel there are people but of course it's a, a different situation and uh, now in this um, epidemic uh, emergency due to the coronavirus, the COVID-19 virus, is um, a great tool that we have to keep on sharing our art, uh, our music. So we have to get the best from um, what we have and also we can learn a lot, a lot of, uh, of lessons. And as a musician, I can say that uh, all of this is uh, teaching me a lot. I did uh, recently a concert where uh, I played uh, my compositions for piano and synth, the composition of a C sharp, and uh, it was a little bit different from, uh, let's say, a normal streaming session where I'm improvising, playing some classical music, uh, sometimes also some of my compositions. Because uh, I designed that session as a concert, I sent out invitations on Facebook, Instagram and so on. And uh, also that experience uh, was a, a very good lesson for me and uh, I learned uh, a lot. Now I see a lot uh, of uh, artists, musicians going live and uh, I think this is very good because uh, this um, difficult situation will pass but we will keep these, uh, these lessons. So now I just uh, gave you a quick overview about uh, um, how to stream uh, on Twitch. If you have questions, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. Follow me on Twitch, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me also on Instagram. I will be very happy to see you. And uh, um, if you are worried, ah, maybe I'm not good, ah, is, uh, I don't have enough uh, gear to do it, don't worry, let's give a go, let's give a try. I believe that uh, the quality of what you play is uh, the most important thing. I see on Twitch incredible musicians that uh, maybe are using just the webcam of a laptop, it doesn't matter. If you have the basic possible gear, give it a go, try to, to stream and to grow this community of artists. I suggest Twitch, there is also YouTube, but uh, let's give it a go also on Twitch and um, I'm happy of Twitch because I told you I like um, how communities are working there and just share your music, bring beauty in the houses of other people that like us are uh, stuck at home and have fun because it helps also to
clear our mind for many thoughts. So, thank you for watching, I hope uh, this was uh, useful and see you to the next episode.